Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be products I either dislike or that I won't be repurchasing anytime soon. I'm actually cleaning out some of my makeup drawers. There was quite a few things that I had to pass on just because it either was the wrong colour or just isn't really of much use to me. I've been meaning to do this for absolute ages. This makeup look by the way, in case you are wondering, I have done a tutorial on it. It's funky, it's quite dark, quite blue and green. I don't normally use the colours together so I was just experimenting a little bit and using some new glitter products that I have received as well. I don't know if it will be up before this one or after but if it is I'll link it down below for you. The first thing that I've got here is this Avon foundation. This is the Luxe Silken foundation. I've got the shade Porcelain and it just looks like this. Now on camera this actually looks really really light but it is actually really really orange toned. A few times that I have wore it I just cannot get on with it at all. It's just totally the wrong colour. It's really thick and creamy. It blends, it blends out really really nicely but it just doesn't seem to end. It's just, it's just constantly blending, blending, blending. A tiny bit definitely does go a long long way. Like you probably can't, I don't know if you can really see it but it is really really orange. It does that thing, is it oxidises when you put it on your skin it goes really really dark. This is what this foundation does and I'm just I'm just not a fan of it at all. When I tried, like when I was like swatching it and playing around with it, I thought it was going to be absolutely great. Um, just it doesn't last long at all. It just breaks up on my face. I'm just not a fan of it. So that is one of the products I probably will not be repurchasing. Um, and that is from Avon. A few of these items are from Avon, by the way. I just don't seem to get on with their face stuff mainly. This is another foundation, it's the Avon Ideal Flawless Foundation. This one is in light pink. Now I don't know why I went for light pink, I think it was like the lightest colour at the point in time. It says it's got an invisible coverage foundation so I definitely wanted this just for everyday wear again. Did that happen? No. Um, now I have, I have really tried to give this a good chance. Um, I've worn it a few times. Again looks really light in the bottle but it isn't actually. I find that this one oxidises a little bit as well. When I'm blending it out it just doesn't seem to end. Like it's just, you could just be blending for ages and it stays quite tacky. I don't know if you can see that. Like I could just be sitting doing that for absolute ages. Like it just doesn't dry. I did expect some sort of coverage or like a BB cream sort of style coverage because it is a foundation. But no, I just do not get on with this at all. So my experience with that foundation, not great. So I will not be keeping that. Now, next product is this PS Contour Kit. Now this is from Primark and I think it's like £3 or something like that. Um, and it's got three shades to sculpt and define cheekbones and stuff. Now it looks like this. Now the reason I bought this was for this shade. Because I thought it would be a really nice cool tone contour shade and I was all for that. I've got to give it to them because they do actually have quite a good pigmentation but my problem with this is it goes on very muddy. Um, it, I've only used it a couple of times. I've tried to work with it even like over or on top of like another contour and I just find that my contour ends up just going really really muddy looking so I'm not a big fan of this product at all but some of the Primark stuff is really good. Um, I'm just not digging this one some mascaras. Now I believe I got this one from Shop Missy and I actually think it's out of date so that's the only reason why it's in here. I don't really like the applicator either. This is the Clean Colour Girls Talk Length and Mascara. Um, I think I bought this because I thought the packaging was pretty cute. Other than that, I haven't actually used this but it, is, it just stinks of chemicals. I'm not a fan of that at all. A date or something. But the brush is just too wild and too thick so that's just a no. This one is the Manhattan Go For Big Lashes Mascara. It looks like this. Now I probably just picked this up just as a cheap mascara just to chuck in my bag. But again, I, this one has a really really strong scent as well which has put me off and I'm not going to use it. Is this Makeup Academy Undress Your Eyes Radiant Under Eye Concealer. It just looks like this. Now I bought this because I I was going through a concealer phase and I just wanted 
this. I just wanted something that would like cover my under eye bags. This just doesn't do anything at all. You've got to like wind it up like that. So a lot of product, like can you see that? It's just, it's really thick and I don't know if you can see but it's quite glittery as well. So it's quite sheer. I'm going to try and take that off that. Um, for my under eyes I wouldn't put something that's got quite a bit of glitter in it under my eyes. I find that it creases as well. It's just really thick and glittery. I don't know if you can see. See, like, can you see the shine on it? It's just really shiny and glittery. And for under my eyes, that's not what I want. I want something mattifying that's not going to crease. That is definitely a big no no for me. I'm not a fan of that product. I do like a good variety of the MUA stuff though. I'm a big fan of their eyeshadows and their pigments and stuff really really do like them. That next item is this Cougar Perfect Pout Volume Shape Definition Lip Enhancer thing. Now this is supposed to be like one of these products that enhance your lips. It's supposed to tingle your lips and make them feel so much voluminous and have so much volume and they're meant to look so much more bigger. I bought it in some sort of subscription anyway but I'm not a fan of this at all. It just takes the biscuit. You put this on your lips and you're just it's not even on your lips more than two minutes and it is like burn it's got like a burning tingling sensation but it just feels like your lips are on fire and like it's not a pleasant feeling at all really really strong when you put it on your lips and it like it tingles but it's not it's not like a cooling sensation it's more like a nippy burning tingling sensation so i do not like this at all i think i had this i think the longest i've had this on is about 15 minutes and i've had to take it off because my lips were just like they felt like they were on fire they didn't look plump i just i'm not a fan of this at all so this is definitely a no-no and next item again is from avon sorry avon like i'm not trying to bash your brand but just some of these items just do not work for me. Maybe when like my skin type changes a little bit, maybe um maybe these will work a little bit better. Maybe in the summer, I'm not sure, but these just do not work out for me. Um this is the Avon Ideal Flawless BB cream. Um I've used this a good bit. This I can't buy, it was actually okay in summer um when I didn't want to wear a lot of makeup and I just kind of wanted a sort of base and mascara not too much on um it was okay it was okay in the summer uh, i did find that it patched up a little bit went a little bit patchy and streaky in places um this this is in the shade ivory um it does have spf 15 in it so i don't know if it's maybe just things that have got spf 15 in it that foundation does have it and i don't know about this so it's maybe just it's maybe that i'm not too sure at all but did not go on well with this at all. Um, I, I feel like this is kind of half empty, so I have gave it a good go. Um, I didn't, I didn't go on with this. I just felt like it dried my skin out and made it look really, really patchy and just uneven and horrible. Or it just looked did not sit nice on my face at all. Even with like powders over the top of it and stuff, it just left my face feeling horrible at the end of the day. Um, it didn't really do very much at all. So that's why that's in here. Now this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. Now I did that to win through these in a giveaway and I've noticed that this one that I have, that I bought personally myself, must be a dud because, look, tell me if you can hear this. I opened this, it had the seal and everything on it and I'll show you if I can but See if I can show you. See that? See that? Oh, that's everywhere. That's water. There's some sort of water in this. Now I've shook this up. I've done everything. It's not thicken up. There's like I don't know what's in this. I don't know if it's out of date. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I just got a bad batch, but that's why this is in here. I've not used it personally because there's no product in this. It's just water. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, this no this is this Essence Cover Stick, and this is like a little stick concealer. One that is in the shade zero four True Nude. Now, now sometimes I like these if I'm going on like holiday or I'm going. 
travelling or anything because it's easier to put in my bag than carrying one of my good concealers. I used to love these little stick concealers for coverage because they used to be great but obviously now that my skin's matured in a little bit it's just not great. Just the colour is just so so off. It's so orange and I just I can't I just really can't use it. It's just it's not a great product at all. It's so so orange. Even when I've got a tan and I need to be a little bit more tanned it just does not work. So two Colour Sensational Maybelline Lipsticks. Now, I bought these because I think they were, they were so cheap. They were going really, really cheap. And I said, I'll give them a go. I really do like the packaging. This holographic is probably what caught me. I'm a sucker for packaging, what can I say? It's in shade 110 Pink Sugar. It's like a really frosty pink colour that is just... I would never wear. It's something I would probably give Eva to play with when she's a wee bit older, but... Um, no, it's just not, like, it's really sheer, it's just, it's not a nice colour at all, I've never used it, probably never will, that's why it's in here. This one is shade 130 Peach Juice, um, basically looks exactly the same to be quite honest, it's, it's a little bit more vibrant pink really, but because these are really sheer, I'm just not digging it, like, I either like a lip gloss or a lipstick. I don't like the sheer lipstick. I don't like a sheer lipstick. I just, no, I'm not a fan of that. So that's why they're in there. Last thing is this Freedom Concealer. Um, this one is in the shade Light and it's the Pro Conceal and Correct. Um, I've, I bought this when they first came out with the concealers. That was, that was a good, a really good while back now heard that they are actually reformulating their foundations and stuff to make them more full coverage so I can't wait to get my hands on them but this was one of the products from one of their very first launches and it was their concealer um I had really high hopes for it because it, it does have a nice yellow based sort of consistency um but again with this I find that it just faded out to absolutely nothing didn't really have much coverage and it just faded to absolutely nothing um, and sometimes if I would have went back to my eyes at all it would have creased under my eyes even though I couldn't really see much it would have just it would have broke up under my eyes and just was not a nice look at all so that's why that is in there. I to try and some of the newer stuff from Freedom because they are actually reformulating a good bunch of stuff and they've come out with new lip liners and stuff and makeup brushes which look really really good so I'm definitely going to be trying some of their newer products um, but this was one from one of their very very first launches and it just didn't really work for me so that is all the products that basically I did not get on with let me know what you think down below if you got any of these products do you get along with them do you not get along with them or even comment down below what is your worst worst product that you bought that you just do not get on with at all so um, comment down below and let me know. Also please like, subscribe, comment, all that usual jazz and I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye.